My next guest uh, in many ways epitomizes this. His name is Dan Oketch and he's a creative artist, Karibu Sana. And indeed, you've seen possibilities where most of us have kind of missed them. Uh, sure. You are a creative artist. You're pretty diverse in the things that you do. Mm -hmm. And you've actually found a way to have a business, a, a livelihood, um, by transforming old shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, uh, as I, s I can say, this my, my name is Dan Okech, but the brand name is Dan Okech Creatives. Okay. Uh, so that's what people know me of. I'm a, I'm a creative artist, like you said, just visual artist, mm -hmm. if you may okay. be specific. All right. <laughs> so visual artist is a person who like visualize things in a different way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I try to transform things, not like what people see, uh, and make them to the way I feel like they should be. Okay, yeah. so you're definitely, you're seeing possibilities all over the place. Yes, yes, yes. The things that we consider maybe trash or old or worn, <laughs> like you can see something brand new come out of it. Sure. That's pretty amazing. And in fact, you've brought some of your work for us to see. Yeah. Um, because we're going to be talking about how to customize our old shoes. You know, when you spent so much money on something, and then imeanza kucheka, imeanza kuzeka, like it's, it's painful to say at it's unaitupa, unaipeana. Um, but you have a solution for us with that. Sure. How did you get into all of this? Painting shoes, painting t-shirts? Uh, you know, artist is into solving problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think people spend so much money in uh, very expensive things mm -hmm. that I think could at least, you know, uh, use that money in doing other things mm -hmm. uh, that at least could make an impact to someone or the society at large. So. I think for me as an artist, it started way back in class three. Okay. So I just started by drawing and all that. Okay. But then the idea of recycling and doing the uh, customization uh, began like three years ago when I realized that no, I can do a lot of things in the art industry. Okay. So, because basically I don't only do this, mm -hmm. I do a lot of things. All right. Yeah. But so also this is another option of at least making money as an sure, artist sure, when sure. the paintings are not at least selling. Sure. Yeah. Understood. Um, so uh, the shirt you're wearing is one that you've actually painted. Sure. And this one here as well. Yeah. Wow. So <laughs> my question though is this, it doesn't wash off like over time. Yeah. Well, it also depends with the specific, the kind of the painting you're using. Mm -hmm. I use acrylic on t-shirts. Uh, we have other specific paints that are good mm -hmm. on on fabrics, uh, fabric paints and all that. So it has to be, for me, I think I've been using this for quite some time and it's been working well for me. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't wash up. Yes, and my clients have been, always, I've always been satisfied with the work. All They've right. never complained about maybe washing off or okay. something, yeah. Okay, that's great. So here are some examples of shoes that you've actually customized. Yeah. Um, do you use a stencil for these designs or how do you do it? <sighs> now, for starters, um, it may require stencil and sometimes maybe masking tape to just cover up where you, mm -hmm. you're not supposed, you, you, are, you don't want to design. Mm -hmm. But for masters, you just do it. So did you use a stencil for this? Yes, now this one I, I made the lines with the masking, tape. the masking tape and then I did my thing on the other side. Freehand? So. Yes, freehand. This isn't a stencil? No. Even that? Yeah, <laughs> this freehand. Wow. Yeah. That's really impressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can see there there's shoes for kids that you could do. Those are even like men's loafers perhaps? Yeah, men's loafers. With a really cool custom design. Mm -hmm. And of course then there's different types of paint, right? You could even have done like a me metallic Sure. If you could find, like, that mm -hmm. would go well with the shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you brought us a pair here. Is this the white one? You're going to work on the white one? Uh, I'm going to finish on that one. On the black one. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, well, grab it, and you can get started okay. um, uh, customizing that shoe. So let's get started then. <coughs> All right, so you had already started on it. Are you going to cover the whole shoe, or what are you hoping to No, I'm to just do? going to touch on some places. Okay. Yes, just to... Because I want it to be more simpler okay. and creative. Okay. Yeah. So typically, how long does it take you to design something? Uh, at least one hour. 
Yes, and maybe the process of letting it dry mm -hmm. and all that, it may take at least two to three hours. Okay. Yeah. But generally, that's pretty quick then. Yeah. I want to see you do this freehand thing you're saying. Yeah, I'm Hopefully a pro in our, patterns. Our, our cameras can get this shot. So do you have like a design in mind or you just draw? Yes. Uh, I think uh, I have invested so much in patterns. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I'm good at. Okay. When someone comes and tells me, Dan, do something for me. Um, I think I'm good in patterns okay. more than anything else. Okay. But now when you come up with their own design, I'm also flexible to do what you desire. Do you usually do like, is this two coats of paint or just one is sufficient? Two. Two. Yeah. So you do the first one, then you come back and go over it. Yes. Now, at o also, it depends with the kind of the paint you're using. Mm. Uh, some needs a primer. You have okay. to prime the shoes first. Okay. Uh, and then paint on, then design, and then paint. Okay. But others, other paints are just, okay, you can just come direct on the fabric, whatever, and then do your design. So if someone wants to do this at home, how do they know if they need primer or not? Or should you just buy the primer to be on the safe side? Uh, it's good to do research okay. on social media. Internet is all over with the information. So I think uh, what people really need to do is do research on which kind of the paint is the best. Because now this is acrylic. Mm -hmm. I'm using it on, this is canvas material. Okay. Uh, we have leather materials that needs... Uh, uh, leather paint. Okay. So each each material has its own paint, so that you your client is not disappointed. Sure. Yeah. So so far, okay. At least we understand. Canvas, you can use acrylic, and the T-shirt, you can use acrylic paint as sure. well. Sure. Okay. All right. Like these gomas, is this usually what is this material usually? These are shoes I know people can find easily. Yes, this one and very cheap. Is it is it canvas? Yes, it's a canvas. So no. you can still use acrylics yeah, on sure. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, do people mostly bring you their shoes to customize, or do you just pick up some shoes, customize them, and then sell? Okay, uh, I work on orders mostly because mm -hmm. I think I've done a lot in terms of advertising my work on social media. So I think people trust my work. Okay. And so I get a lot of order from people. Yeah. yeah. And as far as the tools that you're using, um, are there any like special tools or brushes that you need to use or? Yes, I think uh, everyone no understands or knows their, what, what, the, what works best for them. So for me, I think this brush is best. It's okay. called flat brush, but it's very small. Okay. So this one is flexible in making patterns. Okay. So I would prefer this one as compared to other. A big one. Yeah. So for the beginners, you'd recommend a small flat brush. Sure. Okay. Sure. All right. And those are easily and uh, affordably available, right? Yeah. Okay. Just in case someone wants to go and try out a craft uh, this afternoon, um, they could easily do this. What about the paint colors? I notice you do a lot of like black and white. Yes. Um, are there other colors people could do or are there issues with the other colors? Yes. Uh, it depends with the, with the design of the shoe. Now, like this one is black. Mm -hmm. It it could really work well best in with white color. Mm -hmm. So, I think for me it contrasts best. Okay. So, uh, but you are not restricted to using other colors. Uh, it depends with how clients want or how you feel. Yeah, just expressing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, can you use metallic? Is there are there metallic paints that one could use as well? Uh, sure, but. Uh, I think for me, according to the research I've done in terms of maybe customizing the shoe, mm. uh, I think this is just a specific paint that when you use on the shoe, it's permanent okay. and you'll never receive any complaint. Okay, so yeah. it's a bit finicky then with the metallics. Yes. goes back to what you're saying about being needing to really research. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, as he continues working, let me just read out some feedback. Um, here on Instagram, shout out to you guys who are engaging with me there. Let me just load this up again. 
Here we go. Uh, shout out to you, Mosedricky21. Thank you for the compliments as well to Arthur Jones. Uh, Kenny Thugger, Asante Sana as well. As well. And uh, Liz Before, Asante Sana as well to you. Remember, you can send your feedback and your comments to double two triple nine. That's the SMS line. You can also reach me on social media at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. And um, let me actually turn to our SMS line. Here I have um, Carol tuned in from Juja saying, looking beautiful this Monday. Thank you for that. You say our caller of the day just made my morning, Aki. And you're learning um, a lot from our first segment since it's been hard to manage loans nowadays. Absolutely. Hopefully you took some good, good notes for yourself there. Someone here says, Ace Joyce, good morning. Uh, you look amazing as always. Thank you very much. And you say, I have been away, uh, missed a lot, especially watching your educative topics, but I'm really enjoying the topics or you really enjoyed the topic on loans um, and it just came at the right moment for you. Thanks. And you uh, shout out uh, the other viewers of Full Circle with Joyce. That's Millie watching us from Oyole. All right. Uh, remember, again, you can keep your feedback coming into double two, triple nine. You can also reach me on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya. Currently, I'm here with Dan Oketch, who's a creative artist. And he's uh, been telling us a bit about customizing our old shoes um, through paint. And um, we were talking about a uh, quote earlier about being able to see possibilities even where they may not seem to be any. And clearly he's been able to build a whole business out of this. But what I like is he's at least mentioned that this is something that you and I could try at home, right? If you understand the sort of fabric. So at least so far I know if it's canvas or if it's a t-shirt, you can use acrylic paint. And that should be very easy to find. Um, even in a, a bookshop or an art store or something. So you were customizing that shoe. How are you doing? I'm doing good, as well. Yeah? Um, I think for this one, I could leave it at that point. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that design. That looks super cool. Because when I now continue, it will be more. It uh -huh. will be excess, and I don't want to be, you Over, know. Overly done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just okay with it. I really way. like it, especially yeah. like I can if you're wearing it with your top to right your now. Top, yeah, that looks super super cool. So um, I think I'm good in patterns. Okay. Uh, like I said before. Okay. And uh, this is what people know me of. Okay. Yes. Um, do you feel like is it more men? I mean, obviously that's like a guy's look, I would say. Or is this it like one. unisex? <laughs> yeah, this is guys' look. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, but ladies can also wear it's unisex, I think. Are most of your because clients men or ladies? Yeah. Uh, for ladies, the, I think there's a specific design for loafers, but for ladies. Okay. Yes. I'm they asking don't if have most of one. your clients, though. Uh, most of my clients. Are they men or ladies? Uh, ladies, 95%. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm. What do they order the most? Uh, they enjoy, like, the patterns. Uh -huh. And maybe... They bring their own designs now, like this one. Uh -huh. uh, someone could want an emoji on the shoe okay. and stuff. So <laughs> People actually wear emojis <laughs> on their shoes. Yes. So <laughs> okay. I think people bring their own ideas now, yeah. like this one was a moon. Okay. There's on some stars on it. So All right. Everyone has... Hey, after this, Nenda Kutafuta Ngoma is Nenda Nijaribu Kupaint Paint Mavitu. Yeah, you should try. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dan, for coming on to the show. And um, uh, maybe you can tell us a bit about your business and how people can get a hold of you. Um, my business, I'm based at Outer Ring Road, uh, next to SOS, mm -hmm. uh, just Buruburu Face One. And uh, on social media, I'm Dan Catch Creatives. Mm -hmm. So that's where you can, we can link up and do some business all right yeah maybe you should start art classes too sure i do you do yeah all right i'm sure there'd be plenty of people who'd want to love the to understand the art of doing this thank you very much for your time and sharing your gift with us we do appreciate you you're welcome all right guys uh, we're going to take another break right now getting ready for our next segment uh we're going to be talking about technology and invention um through animation that's coming up next here on full circle with joyce Stay tuned, I'll see you soon. <laughs> 